Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group weekly update for the week ending June the 3rd, 2022. Nice uh, bear, a bull bounce in a bear market. Nice bear market with a bull bounce. I don't know, and there's not, not a lot nice about a, a bear market, but uh, did uh, eke out on our seasonal uh, play that we do uh, periodically when the, the uh, statistics show us it's the right thing to do. Uh, eked out uh, just shy of 1% for the effort. Uh, it was a short week this week. Uh, we went uh, and instituted that play uh, a, a week ago, it was been about uh, May the uh, uh, 22nd, something like that. Week Monday, a week ago before Mor Memorial Day, and then uh, and then closed out this afternoon and went back into uh, regular allocations. Um, uh, in interesting, interesting play. Uh, it got a little bit of extra out of there. Of course, today might have been better, but uh, but you had people like uh, Jimmy Diamond. With J.P. Morgan uh, uh, yesterday uh, during the week, uh, uh, you know, espousing, uh, uh, expecting bad news for the economy, uh, and then you had a uh, hurricane. That's what he said. We have bad weather, a hurricane for the economy. Jamie Dimon, and then today, uh, this morning, Elon Musk uh, came out early on with a uh, uh, expecting a super bad feeling about the economy, et cetera, et cetera. Here's the reality. Uh, there's there's ways to make money uh, each way that you go, and what they were really doing was that there was a gangbuster jobs report that came out. So unemployment is really really low. That's always statistically a, a bad for a stock market. Okay, uh, with the with the uh, jobs so so hot, there's like two to three jobs for every applicant out there. So you've got a really really low unemployment uh, comparatively. All right, three percent, three point two percent. So the jobs numbers came in real hot. Makes me wonder. Makes me speculate. These guys, these uh, I've got a feeling the economy is really going to be bad. These guys employ a lot of people. They have tremendously huge payrolls, okay? Uh, J.P. Morgan, uh, and, and some of the analysts at J.P. Morgan even, even are at odds uh, with, uh, with what the, uh, uh, Jamie Dimon uh, said. And then, and then you also have um, uh, Musk saying this. Makes me wonder on the heels, see, look at today's quotable just below uh, on the blog here. Good news in this situation with the inflation uh, uh, running as it is, is actually bad news for equities, okay? If you think about that, it makes sense why, and, and the why is because um, uh, that means that the Fed is not likely to back off of its quantitative tightening now. So they're kind of going to go ahead, as a matter of fact, two of the uh, deputy chairs uh, came out uh, today on interviews and, and, and said it, uh, actually a, a couple more uh, during the week too, at least one more. Uh, and so and so I, I think what Diamond and Musk were trying to do was maybe talk the Fed back if they were thinking that they were bad and spread this bad news because this hot, hot employment job uh, numbers report came out and that made the Fed go, whoops, wow, inflation's still up, economy's still super hot. We got to cool it down, and so they continue to slam on the brakes with another 50, 50 basis point uh, hike uh, this month. Another one in July. Uh, one of the other uh, uh, Fed uh, personnel came out uh, late on and said, "Okay, we're probably going. No reason to think that we're not going to do this through September. It's death by a thousand cuts." Uh, it seems like to me, if if it's that hot, if it's if that that's if that's the deal, why not do it during the summertime right now when things are so supercharged? Just come out with a hundred basis points, but that's above my pay grade. My job is to manage the risk that we have before us, and so again, I come back to where we started with, and we manage that risk pretty well. Eked out another uh, 0.86 around that, roughly uh, a gain for the effort on on a short uh, short week. Um, uh, last week and, and, and this week. Uh, so that was a nice play. Now we're back up and still beating the indexes, beating the markets. Generally, the indexes, uh, some of the models, uh, you know, upwards of 15% uh, total. So anytime that we're positive and the S&P 500 is negative year to date, uh, we're, we're, we're racking them up. So you guys need some of this, all right? So you need, need some of our uh, help of us re, uh, you know, uh, managing the risk in your portfolio, you need to take action. Just do something, okay? There's a lot of different ways to play this. Right now, commodities are changing, so we've, we've, we're getting tiptoeing back into the markets. There are areas that are, are ripe for exploitation. Uh, commodities are changing right now. 
uh, metals are, are are being shorted, and uh, and and uh, energy. What are you going to say? I mean, energy is just that's that's uh, that's the salvation this this year so far. So that that's where the that's where it's at right now. Uh, and and uh, the thing is, is that we don't have. I grew up in the, in the oil industry, in the natural gas industry, hydrocarbons. So uh, that's what we just called. Um, there's no more refineries being built. Uh, three uh, refineries take about three years to build and put online. There's no refineries being built. Everything's still down around the Houston area and and, and across the Southwest uh, there. And uh, and so you know, take make of that what you will. You could ramp up production, uh, you know, full bore in the United States. It's still not going to alleviate the problem at the pump because you can't refine it fast enough. All right, I get off my uh, my uh, horse on that one. Move back to, uh, and let you know that again, you know, energy, 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 and uh, some of the other uh, uh, plays are are commodities, and and some uh, spotty areas and materials are popping up, but uh, that's where it's at. Our structured note plays are paying dividends like clockwork, and those uh, those notes, a couple of those notes, are probably going to get called uh, here in about three more months. Absent the calamity, don't predict the future. Just trade the markets need some help trading yours and building you a plan that optimizes your risk exposure and lord knows everywhere you look right now risk is looking back at you give us a call come see jared and i 404-348-4120 give us a shot at info at assetguidancegroup.com check out our, our website as you get off the blog here there's a lot of good stuff out there stay happy i'll see you next week